hi everyone in this video i am going to explain about <coughs> the derivation for the efficiency of reflux klystron oscillator so in the previous videos i have explained about the mathematical calculations for the calculation of distance that the electron can travel inside the rippler space and later we have seen the calculation of output power and uh, maximum output power maximum output power at particular bessel's function like a j of uh, x dash and x dash that is 2.4 into something like a 0.52 that is equal to 1.5 <clears throat> at this particular point we have calculated the maximum power so now in this time we are going to see the efficiency calculation of efficiency for the reflux klystron oscillator okay reflux klystron oscillator reflux klystron oscillator is a device which is used to produce the beam of oscillations beam of oscillations nothing but uh, number of oscillations uh, at uh, n plus 3 by 4 n plus 3 by 4 okay now see here efficiency efficiency means what do you mean by efficiency from the definition of efficiency we can say it is nothing but the ratio of output power to the input power okay <clears throat> efficiency is efficiency is defined as the ratio of output power to the input power the ratio of output power to the input power so efficiency is indicated by eta that is equal to output power divided by input power output power divided by input power so now we need to consider what is the amount of output power what is the amount of input power later we need to substitute those two in this equation then we will be having the expression for the efficiency okay so the dc power p dc is equal to nothing but dc power is nothing but input power <coughs> because we are not giving any ac input voltage for this uh, oscillator we are giving only dc input power there are two types of dc voltages one is the accelerating voltage another one is the Rippler voltage. Rippler voltage is no way related to this one. We need to consider accelerating voltage because the velocity of the electrons is completely depending upon the applied accelerating voltage okay, or anode voltage. So that's why <coughs> P input that is equal to V0 into I0. <coughs> v0 into I0. So V0 is nothing but here accelerating voltage. We can call it as accelerating voltage or anode voltage okay in the diagram if you see the basic standard diagram of this reflux klystron oscillator you can observe va that va or v naught both are same okay and similarly the output power which is nothing but ac power output power is nothing but ac power because we are giving the dc input voltage and getting the ac rf output voltage rf output signal so that is already we have calculated this expression from the output power maximum output power that is uh, i naught v1 j1 of x dash sin theta naught into sin theta naught dash okay we know that already we know we know that x dash is equal to v1 by 2 v0 <coughs> into theta naught dash <coughs> from this v1 by v0 is equal to 2x dash by theta naught dash okay and uh, we know this v1 by v0 is equal to what do you mean by theta dash theta dash we can write it as 2 n pi by minus uh, pi by 2 okay so because the phase changes at this particular uh, dimension 2 n pi minus pi by 2 cycles are needed so 
if you take the efficiency formula, efficiency is equal to now output power by <coughs> output power by input power. Output power by input power. Output power is AC power, AC voltage or AC power or DC power. Output power is always AC power. And what is the input power? That is DC power. So that is equal to output power is I naught V1 J1 of X dash sin theta naught dash divided by V naught into I naught. So that is equal to okay substitute what is uh, V1 from that expression. So that is 2x dash <coughs> j1 of x dash sin theta naught dash divided by 2n pi minus pi by 2. Okay. So this is what the expression for the eta efficiency. So expression for efficiency eta which is uh, in terms of Bessel's function that is eta is equal to 2 x dash j1 of it is j1 j1 of x dash sin theta naught dash divided by 2 n pi minus pi by 2. <coughs> now we can calculate the maximum value of this efficiency at particular value of uh, some theta naught value and as well as similarly sin theta naught theta naught maximum of sin theta see sin theta when it is maximum when theta becomes pi by 2 okay <coughs> so maximum efficiency maximum efficiency occurs at theta naught dash is equal to pi by 2 at theta naught dash is equal to pi by 2 that makes sin theta naught dash is equal to 1 sin pi by 2 is equal to 1 okay now we know that the x dash value is equal to 2.4 and j1 of x dash is equal to some 0.52 we know whatever we have done for the calculation of maximum power the same values we are considering here because we are getting the maximum value when these values are met okay so therefore <coughs> the efficiency eta is equal to substitute 1 by 1 2 into x dash which is a 2.4 Bessel function is 0.52 into sin theta dash which is 1 divided by 2n pi 2n pi here n represents the number of modes n represents number of modes let us consider the number of modes n is equal to <coughs> 2 for example we have taken the number of modes is equal to 2 number of modes what do you mean by number of modes what do you mean by the mode here, if you take the applicate diagram of this reflex klystron oscillator, this is the rippler space on vertical axis and this is the early electron, reference electron, late electron. These three electrons traveling at a distance and meeting all these together after some time. So this is one particular mode. For this mode, we need a maximum sinusoidal signal and this uh, sinusoidal signal like this. Now, after this again, three more electrons will be generated which are again early electron, reference electron, late electron. For that again, one more group is, one more bunch is going to be created. So, this particular thing is one mode and this particular thing is another mode. Like that, we has taken n is equal to two modes. <coughs> okay. So, 2 into 2n pi my, minus pi by 2. So, that is equal to this is 4.8 into 0 0.52 divided by 4 pi minus 
pi by 2. So, if you simplify this, you will get a 0 0.227, it is eta. Okay. So, therefore, the percentage efficiency eta is equal to 22.7 percent. 22.7 percent. So, this is the maximum efficiency of this reflex crystal oscillator for the output volt, output oscillations that are generated. Okay. Thank you.